The director, Derek St. Francis, is known for giving his actors the freedom to create their characters the way that they want. Do you find that that much creative license is appealing, or do you find that responsibility a little overwhelming? I love it. I mean, I love creating a character. That's what I like to do. And uh, like when I first read the script, Jason is described as a super buff, uh, half Hispanic kid. You know, uh, and I obviously, uh, even starting there, really started to create my own character, um, it, kind of ignoring what was in the script. And I mean, he, he's with you the whole time, Derek. Like, he's there to help you, like, nurture and create a living, breathing human being. But yeah, I mean, that's the kind of stuff I love to do. I know that a huge reason why he cast you opposite Emery was because he witnessed you having a heated discussion over which group of actors was better. We did. I think, well, you know, I got cast, honestly speaking, like I got cast in the movie and then Emery came in and just like gave a blow your mind audition and that's why Emery was cast in the movie. But while he was giving this blow your mind audition, we did get into a bit of a row about some actors, yeah. I brought it up with uh, with him when I was speaking to him and he got really into explaining why he kind of thought uh, it had to be Brando or De Niro and, and you were sort of siding with uh, James Dean Pacino. Yeah. Uh, because you're, you're into that style of acting, would you well, say? Well, it's like the same style of acting. You, They're all uh, classically trained actors, honestly. Like they're, uh, I think people think like, People think that Marlon Brando was like, well, he was a method actor and James Dean was a method actor, but the term method actor has become bastardized in today's culture. What method acting used to be is you went to acting school and you had a method uh, that you worked, of how you worked, that, that enabled you to actually believe things and actually do things. That's what method acting started out as. Um, and that's what they were. And for me, James Dean, uh, I don't know, he just resonates with me more. Like I watch Brando and I think he's amazing, but I watch James Dean and I think he's amazing and I like him more. <laughs> what was it like for you to see the finished product? Because you are only in the third portion of the movie. Yeah, it was, honestly, it was like amazing. I, uh, I forgot I was in it and I got really engrossed in it and I was like, man, I love this movie. Oh, this movie's so good. Oh sh shit, I'm in this movie. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's a really, I'm really proud of it, you know, I think uh, Derek did a really beautiful job in, in conveying the story that we wanted to convey and, and, and it's really respectable thinking, like you said, of like all the footage we got, like never saying the same thing twice pretty much and, and he, he makes this really beautiful, realistic, gritty story out of it, I'm, I'm really proud of it. A lot of movies that you've been in, like this one in Lawless, uh, they've been in major film festivals. Mm -hmm. What would you say that those events mean to a young actor such as yourself? Uh, wow, I mean, it's a really great celebration of the, uh, of the work. It's, for me, I mean, it's like a crazy experience, you know, like the red carpet at Cannes is like being in like, there's so many people, it's like being in a stadium, it's, it's overwhelming and it, it's kind of like, you know, you think of being in the middle of nowhere, like limping around and driving old cars and like somehow this is what it amounted to. It's kind of unfathomable, um, but it's great. It's great that the films have gone there and it's great that the films have gotten the recognition that I feel like they d deserved at those festivals and, and, and found a way to, to be shown to the public. Like that's ultimately what's important about them, I suppose.